my crafty loving friends. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today we're going to make old things new again, primitive style. So let's see what I come up with. For project number one, I have this glass container that I've had for a while, and I don't remember where I got it either. Um, but it is frosted on the outside, I believe. It feels like it's frosted on the outside. Somebody had taken some spray frost and put it on there, uh, and I just left it. I'm just taking some of my my wax, antique wax, black ink, um, chalk paint, and a little bit of water mixture that I made up, and I'm going to put it on my bottle. Now, I know I'm supposed to make these look new, but in primitive, things are supposed to look old, but new. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. So I'm just brushing it on and then dabbing it back off so that it leaves some of it behind. This has some ridges in the middle. So I'm trying to get that black to sit kind of in those ridges and anywhere just to make it look aged and old like the bottle has been sitting around for a long time. And so I'm just going to do that all the way around, just brushing it on and then dabbing it off. This is just a regular paper towel, and you're going to see me use this paper towel actually throughout all three of these projects. So there it's all covered, and you can see that it's still got the frosted look on it, but it also has the dark uh, wax over the top. So I have this piece of, I think it used to be a napkin, um, but I've been cutting pieces off it and cutting pieces off it for a long time. And so I'm just making a strip. And now I'm making it look a little bit aged, and I'm taking, again, that paper towel that I used to dab on that glass jar, and I'm just taking the wet part and rubbing it on there and making it look aged. So there's the other side, and then there's the side that I just aged. I cut that material and then just a little bit of it so that I could rip it so that it gives it a little bit of a frayed edge on it so it's all frayed on all the sides. So I'm just gluing that down to the bottle in the middle. All right, now I'm grabbing my roll of jute string and I'm going to wrap it around the middle of this piece of material that I have on this jug. Um, I wrapped it around mm, one, two, three, I believe four times, and I crisscrossed it in the very middle. It, you don't have to, but I, for some reason I love it when I when I wrap this jute, and I like to crisscross it a little bit. Um, this was to add a little more, you know, to the the material in the middle and it was also to set up a little bit because I am going to put a little star on it and I wanted to have it sit up off the bottle a little bit. So then I'm adding a little bit of the um, Spanish moss and then I'm taking some of my wax again and I'm just brushing that twine a little bit to Again, give it an aged, old look, even though it's supposed to be looking new. It's going to look new when it's done, new old. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm sticking some more of the Spanish moss underneath just to make it go all the way around and stick out and look even all over. I think it looks much better on there like that. Giving it a little haircut, and there you go. There it is. Check it out. Now before we move on to the next projects, I was just going to show you that I took some fairy lights and stuck it down in the bottle 
and left the little uh, on off switch on the outside and added the top and there you go you could add some lights too project number two is this uh, wooden star that I got at a flea market in Vermont recently I'm gonna give it a paint job and I cut out these two little uh, these little crows I made tea light holders out of them a long time ago and I'm gonna flip them over and use them uh, on this star so I took this down and paint spray painted it it's a clamshell in not rust-oleum spray paint but it's a different I can't remember the kind Krylon maybe uh, so it's a, like a light off white almost a grayish color to me but I'm gonna take my here's my rag again with the antique wax that I've been wiping on and wiping off with and I'm just taking it and rubbing it all around the edges of course I had gone over it first and sanded it and distressed it so that uh, it looked just a little more aged and then I'm just wiping this all over the inside and the edges just to distress it some more So now I'm taking these crows, I had sanded them down and I wanted to take some of this antique wax and put it on and cover up some of the white on that came through when I sanded it on the birds. So I'm going to put that on and then take my rag again and wipe it off. And then I will touch it up again with sandpaper but a little bit lighter touch around just the edge and you'll see that when I go to put it on my star. Now I'm going to use my E6000 and a little bit of hot glue and affix these uh, crows to the star and get them so that they will stay. I'm taking this small piece of floral foam and I'm going to glue it to the bottom of the star just underneath the crows. I'm going to just use a little bit of hot glue and hold it on there so that it will stay. Need another glue stick and then do the other side and then we're going to start decorating this guy up. This is going to look so cute. I hope you guys love it. So because I don't want to use a whole bunch of the pit berries that I'm going to put in here, I am going to put some of this Spanish moss on top of the foam to cover it up so that you can't see it. And I also think it adds a lot to, you know, it just fills in the spaces that you want filled in. So I think this is going to add a lot to this star And uh, once I'm done with it. So these are the Pitberry garland that I'm going to use today. They're like a textured little ball and then the stars on there are also textured. Uh, I really like the antique colors of these. They're kind of muted and I really like that. So I wanted to try these instead of my regular Pitberries that I have. So I'm just using my uh, scissors to poke down in there and make a hole so that I could get those Pitberries down in there. And I put a little glue on the edge and stuck it right in the hole. And so I just alternated back and forth and put in the pit berries and some in the middle and just kind of sprayed them out on both sides so that they would uh, look fuller. And because I have holes in those crows from the holes that I made for my tea lights, I am going to take a couple pieces of the twine and make little bows and stick them on to cover up the holes. And I think it adds a little something to the cute little crows anyway. So glued those right on. And then I made this little homespun tie or bow, uh, just some black and tan material, and put that in the middle of my spray that I made. And then gluing up this burgundy colored star 
and now see what you guys think. On to project number three. These are some wooden trays. They have little handles on them. I've had these for a really long time. The small one I got for $2 and the big one I got for $3 at Goodwill. Uh, so I'm going to paint those up. And I used uh, this Krylon. It was like a bronzy color and I thought it might come out more black, but it came out more brown. And I got it for $1.87 on clearance at Walmart. So I'm going to use that on a different project, maybe doing a rusty pail or something. But these didn't come out the color I wanted, so I'm going to just use my chalk paint and I'm going to paint them up in the black ink color. And I'm going to do both of them the same. Once they were dry, I took a little piece of sandpaper and I sanded down the edges and the handle and anywhere that it would look where uh, and just just distressed. So I have this piece of wallpaper border. I always keep my border unless there's absolutely nothing on it and then I'll throw it away but this still had some pictures on it that I thought I could use. So I'm trying to decide which one I want to use in which tray uh, and I think I've decided I like this one, this bigger one with the antique sign so you could read the whole antiques word on it and then have that little candle in there as well and it would just be a simple little bottom for that tray. I think it would look so cute. Now this tray could be used for uh, just to hang on the wall or you could put actually use it as a tray and put something in it and I'll show you how I style it at the end. But I cut out these pieces and then the other piece on that same piece of border I cut out the star uh, like little checkerboard Nothing special here. All I did, because it's wallpaper border and it was already had the adhesive on the back, I ran it under water to activate that adhesive, and there you have it. I wanted to tell you about the collaborations put up by Zena at OK at Home DIY. It's Old Things Made New collab. So, and there's several other creators that will be joining in this collaboration. So, I will have the link to the playlist below as well as Zaina's channel below. So please go check them out. This is a fun group of gals and I know you're going to enjoy their videos. So I'm adding this wallpaper to the trays and again all I did was wet them because they were already pre-pasted so all I had to do was activate the paste by getting them wet. So I soaked them in water for a couple seconds and then now I'm putting them down and just using a paper towel to work out any bubbles that it would have and get them nice and flat and adhered securely. So I replaced the little ties that were in the handles with some jute twine. Previously it was leather. And then I took them outside to give them a quick spray of flat sealer. And I'm just showing you here the one on the right has been spray sealed and the one on the left has not. I wanted to show you the difference between the two. There isn't a lot, but it does look like a richer color uh, when you look at it like that. So here is the final result, guys. Hope you like it. So what do you think? Did you have a favorite? I really thought they all came out pretty cool. So don't forget to go down and check out the links below to the playlist, to Zaina's channel, and also to my Etsy shop, Pit Berries and Burlap. I'll have these items, or most of them, on sale there, among other things. The cutting boards that I did on my last video, if you haven't seen that, I'll put a link here for you. 
and you can check that out. Those will be for sale on my Etsy shop as well. So please go over and check it out. And thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you.